Dear Inyanji, you are one of one. To meet you is an honor. You are the creator of life itself. You have traveled many roads and opened many doors for your children and for Africa. My mom sacrificed everything for me. She is one of the wisest, bravest queens I know. You have done the same. Your legacy flows through all of us. I hope in this lifetime you rejoice for the fruit you have borne is good. With love, wow, Rukare. So <laughs> Very nice. That's a, Did all that come from your brain? From or from, uh, from my heart. Or from, uh, no, no, not chat GPT. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. From here. Good. Not uh, uh, we don't do chat GPT. What's up guys? We're here at Rugari Gomez house and look at this view. It's amazing. I love the space here. I'll show you around. That's for mum. Oh. <laughs> and that ego has been cooking and preparing ever since. <laughs> well, so what do you, what do you, what do you, what's this? What are you making? Uh, ah, chapati. No wonder when I, I saw that, I was like, wait a minute, he's not cooking chapati, is he? <laughs> oh, wow. Exactly. I tried, it's like the yeah. first time, I don't know. Let's how did see you, if work. where did you see like how to make it? On the internet. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. We do have. Yeah, oh, good luck no for way. us because I don't know. No worries, Let's... yeah. Yeah, you didn't have to, man. That's amazing. Yeah. This kitchen is more is, is small. More space. Is, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Our previous kitchen was bigger, but yeah. Oh, that is like, wow, I'm impressed. And welcome. This is for you. Oh. <laughs> Come on, man! You didn't have to do... enjoy the food. Of course, <laughs> I will. And then you guys have. So, mm. so this oh, is okay. where the magic happens. And then sometimes we just want our own personal space. Mm -hmm. So then either ego comes or mm -hmm. I come here. Also, also, this is like you can have your own personal space. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I'm the same. I, I like to have my life. <laughs> I'm the same. I like to have my personal space. I think sometimes there's the misconception is like when you get married, you do everything together, mm -hmm. which we mostly do mm -hmm. many things together. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I like my space. Yeah. It, yeah, I'm the same. Yeah. Mm, oh, so you can. Okay, guys, this is where Rugari shoots his podcast. You know, uh, I love the desk, I love the space. Oh, you got the mic here. Hey. Yeah, this is a great. Yeah, this is really cool. I like this. It's awesome. Mm. <laughs> it's really like nice and cozy. Yeah, I can get used to this. The lounge about this home. This place is dope, man. It is dope. I need to come and move into a place like this. Yeah. This is like it's very like I I can get used to this. <laughs> like it's very like comfy. It's very comfy. Very comfy. It's very like home. I don't know. It's very. Everything we do, we like it to be comfy, simple, and luxurious. How long did it take for you guys to kind of? Uh, you're still probably setting things up in the living room, innit? Yeah. Right. This is all. Our home previous room was even smaller, so we never even had a dining room table. So Igo wants to, of course, have dining room table. It's so when we, it's so big, both ways. Oh, oh so, wow! And of course, Igo is short, so sometimes he hides in here and, and does his <laughs> Harry Potter. That is actually a good hiding spot. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's yeah. That Igo's thing to do. Yeah. We can start for because it's too hot. The yeah oysters are good. They are done. And painful. Catch up came out of the conversation out of the workshop for the LGBTI Leadership Summit. Yeah. And you were like, we need to do more workshops. Um, and so we decided let's just do a planning day. Yeah. Let's do, have a planning session, really. So turn the idea into pr something more practical. So the first thing I thought was the intention is creating win 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 revenue and increasing the profitability and power of our businesses. So I'm being very specific there. It's win, 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 mm -hmm. and it's creating. So for me, creating is like something from nothing. Mm -hmm. um, win means everybody is happy. Revenue, money, increasing profitability. So it's not just about making money because you can make a million dollars, but if your expenses are 99% of that million dollars, then 
why, why are we doing that? So increasing profitability and power. So for me, power includes the ability to make things happen with velocity. That's what power means to me. The ability to make things happen with velocity. So that was the intention. How do you feel about the intention? Yes, I love it. Creating a win-win revenue and increasing the profitability and power. And you say power with the velocity yes, yes. of our businesses. Our Correct. ability to bring something into existence with the velocity. So for example, you know, an example of that is you created a video within 24 hours that I was able to present to the Leadership Institute. That's power. Some people can take two weeks, three weeks, a month, three months to do that. That's a lack of power. So power is our ability to bring things into existence with velocity. Yeah. So I always love starting with an intention. So then, you know, and seeing how everybody feels, how you feel, how we feel about it, you know. What is it that you like about this intention? I love all of it, man. I love the revenue, I love the profitability, and I love the power of like, you know, because, yeah, I think back to the workshop, it's like, I, I don't know, I'm looking from a bird's eye view. I'm here just being a vessel as you are bringing, you know, let's say the power or life into these people. And this is your business, you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know, it, even just not even just with you, but the other people I work with, it's, it's just so crazy. It's like, I'm a fly in the wall, you could say. So, you know, yes, I love this. And because I also, it's interesting because like I'm there, you know, working with you but then i also see the unique value propositions from your business you know what i mean yes. like that's special like not only do i see it live but then also on the editing side whether yes. sometimes if it's me or doing the final review or from my team yes even the people in my team we all see the unique value proposition of yes. your business and see why you're going to stand out and what you just said is so powerful because it's the same of when I work with you, I can see the unique value proposition of your business. And I think today is a great opportunity to exchange those ideas and build each other up as well. Because when you're in it, when you're in your business, we can be blind to the opportunity. But to have somebody who has shared values, shared aspirations, and the same energy to go for it, I think that's where fireworks can happen. Very powerful. So I think then today one of the outcomes is definitely um, sharing what I can see about your business and you sharing what you can see about my business. And of course there will be the shared opportunity, the co-creating or creating win-win, win revenue and increasing profitability and power in our businesses. Amen. Mm -hmm. So then, you know, an intention for me is like the guide it's a guide and then the outcomes are more like the concrete mm -hmm. things to come out of today mm -hmm. and this is a speculation nothing is ever fixed but again outcomes give us an idea of like where we need or could be heading with our best thinking but in the conversations that can change so you know sometimes people can get so stuck in an outcome the goal so for example, I'll give you an example on the court. I have sold over 10,000 books in the United States today. And one of my outcomes is I want to be paid over 10,000 US dollars to do speaking engagements. But an immediate outcome that has already happened is that I, somebody who's been a former pop star, as a read, their team has reached out to me to ask to be a guest on my podcast. So that's an unintended outcome. Does it fit with my business? Yes, because I do have a podcast. If I am so fixed on what my outcome should be, I'll miss out on opportunity. Mm -hmm. So outcomes are great, they're my best thinking, but it shouldn't necessarily detract from the opportunities that may come along. Mm -hmm. yes. What are you hearing? I, I want to ask you, 
can you can you be a bit more specific on that? Like, so, so let's say if I have an outcome that I want to achieve in my life, yeah. you're saying not to be too fixated on the exact outcome I desire, but yes. on the opportunities that may arise. Yes, as you pursue that outcome. Okay. Yes. So, for example, I had I, people go on LinkedIn with the intention of what typically get clients clear. Yeah. Now, um, and when people are on LinkedIn trying to get clients. What do you think their experience of their business is? The experience of their business? Yep. Mm-hmm. Clear. So for me, I'll, sh- I'll share for you. For me, if I'm on LinkedIn with the sole intention of getting clients, it's soul destroying mm-hmm. because I'm focusing on just trying to make money and getting something from somebody. Now, I'm on LinkedIn to form relationships. Now, instead of having a more conceptual outcome, instead of forming relationships, what has actually opened up is LinkedIn has been a place where I have found connection. LinkedIn has a place where I've broken out of isolation. LinkedIn has been a place where I've found new friendships. LinkedIn has been a place where I've found new clients. LinkedIn has been a place where I have got new business and give new business. LinkedIn has been a place where my message has reached around the world. Very different. Mm -hmm. Now, if I had been so focused on it has to be a place to get clients, all the other things that is made available, I could have missed. Mm -hmm. And fundamentally, if I had missed those things, because all of those things in the end, what do they do? Create? clients mm-hmm. it's all a, it all becomes a byproduct completely I, like I, I totally agree with what you're saying about LinkedIn a hundred and twenty thousand percent like I've been able to do the same thing but it is really more about the connections relationships and like you said when you just have that sole purpose to get clients you 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 don't humanize people so that even the people that you reach out to again and why am I saying this? Because I'm a recipient of receiving those messages every single day, and it's like you don't even personalize it. You don't even. You just come in here and just sell me straight away, right? Don't even introduce. And I so I know the feeling of what that's like, and so I also prom- And I think because of that, also made me be, become better on the platform. Yes. Right. Because I saw that, I said, no, we can't do that. Yes. Right. We're actually going to get to know people, and yeah, I think it's powerful. And I also noticed you you have been posting a lot more. Mm-hmm. Is, is, is that, am I right on that? Yeah, I, I post. You, now, obviously, you have more content, which is great. Yes. But, like, I have noticed you, you've been posting way more. Yes. From when I first connected. Absolutely. And if you look at my, my posting, it's an evolution. I, mm-hmm. You know, I started by posting just my personal story, then mm-hmm. a product, the book, mm-hmm. and the stories that come out of it and my life. Mm-hmm. And now I'm posting about business. Mm-hmm. You know, my recent post is me outing myself mm-hmm. as a businessman. Mm-hmm. I'm like... You know, no Australian bookstores are going to look at me because I'm a nobody. I've had to make it in America first before I'm looked. So I'm now showcasing my business skills. Mm. And, I, and I love it. I, I love what you're doing. It's good. Like even for me, as I said, my thing is every hour of the day yes. to post. There and I'm not, I'm not playing around. Yeah. And I, of course, we do it on other platforms, but every single hour of yes. the day, and, and the, pl- the platforms reward you for it. Yeah, they do. So. It's great. Yeah, powerful. So some of the intended outcomes or outcomes to, put, to think about as we go through this are, number one, freely speculate, create, and invent money-making opportunity. Mm-hmm. So we're going to like, look at how do we actually create money. Because mm-hmm. you can create things, but they may not generate money in essence. Number two, to choose at least one idea and bring it to life. Number three, ensure everyone is fully self-expressed and feels enlivened. If it is not a hell yes, don't do it. So one of the things I really learned probably three years ago is like, if if I'm not a hell yes, I will not do it. Period. It doesn't even matter if it makes me money or not. If I don't feel free, enlivened by it, nah, not doing it. Mm-hmm. And then number four, an action plan to bring the idea or the ideas to life. Mm-hmm. 
So we can have a good conversation, but ideas without a plan is the same as having no idea at all. Mm -hmm. Right. What do you think about the intended yeah. outcomes? Yeah, I love it. Like, where can we go from here and say, okay, this is what we're doing. Even starting, you know, the next month, we look, we have something, you know, something in the calendar that we can now boom, boom, boom. Let's great, go. great. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm, I'm hot already. Yeah. And I thought you, if I'm hot, then you, you'll yeah. be hot yeah. because mm. yeah. <laughs> we're, still, we're still learning each yeah, other, learning growing yeah. each other, supporting yeah, but each other. It, no, but you're ah. saying it straight, like two yeah. straight men coming yes. to support a gay and, you know, and, and they're African. Yes. Ah. That is something. The, the that message is, is so for me, Thank that's you. like, mm. I, I will have, you know, Igor and I will have that for the rest of our lives. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's opening up doors for both of us yeah. you know it's everything now. exactly yeah, uh, same now. same yeah. Even for them to come they have to come and support absolutely family, you know? it's funny because Rugari he just said to me like I didn't think of it in my mind but he said are you coming to Melbourne mm. and I was like in my mind I was like I don't think I had told you no no you but, didn't yeah I didn't yeah. because I was I was like oh he's he's got a point and then I told dad dad was like let's go and then I'm like okay, <laughs> I'm like, okay let's go because you know? I was like I was like I don't know I because I, I really wanted him to come I didn't actually ask say I didn't say I really want him to come I just asked are you coming to Melbourne yeah. yeah. but what I was trying to say is I really want yeah. you to be yeah. there to be there yes. and I could tell so you were surprised when yes. you saw them uh, it was because he then what? told me yeah. oh, they were well, yes. so oh, that was a surprise oh. so when he said that I'm coming with that I'm, it's, it's still shocking Mm. Yeah, it's still shocking. That was really and it yeah. was such a cool, like it was, it was really. It nice. was nice. Yeah, oh. and it was like, and I had been to Melbourne in yeah. since I was a little small child. Yes. So, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. remember since Daniel Hopper's Crossing? Oh. Please. So. Oh, wow, this crossing. dessert yeah. looks oh, amazing. Oh, Hopper's Crossing. Yeah, Did you remind Daniel that that's when you were in Melbourne? Uh, my, yeah, 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 yeah. We had spoke about oh. my love, outstanding again. Ah. Oh, that was so this is the kind of relationship I've always wanted. Mm. Connect family. Like this is because this is how I grew up in Zimbabwe. Yeah. So when you ask like what do you do on the weekends? On our weekends, it was people coming to visit, yeah. you sit down and we talk. talk. Yeah. 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 Like it doesn't get better than this. Mm. Well, mm. Then it's the tea cups of tea. <sighs> That's what I'm saying. Like this is my club. Like you see yeah. how you were talking about going to the club? Yeah. Mm. Yes, this is it. Mm. What? Like in, in terms of enjoyment, like even me, you ever seen me going to the club? Yeah. No way. Even that Adam was telling me a story. What you hit the big gate? It's beautiful. Thank Man, you this so much. Nice. Mm -hmm. Really so grateful. I forgot to hit the the cake is was better. With this. He's, he's been <laughs> so he. <laughs> He's been working. When did you? When did we? When did I tell you Sujira is coming over? Two days ago? Three days? Two days ago? From two days ago or three mm. days ago? He's been creating the menu. He's gone shopping. Yeah, he's yeah, been yeah. up early in the morning because it, it takes time to create every single thing. Wow. You, you, say, you, you, you went to the fish I, market, I, like. He enjoys cooking. He loves it. Yeah, I love it. It's your passion, huh? Passion. Yeah, I like, That's I like what modern creation. Like, the creation. This menu, for example, I made this. It's, uh, it's new. It's like, the canapés, no. I, something I, I used to cook it. Yes. But the food is specific. Creative. Food. Yeah, something Yeah, new. it's like you need to prepare the, the base. It's yeah. like he, I need to look in, uh, in the videos, photos, mm. how to make it. The what name? Forgot. What? The the the, the, the round uh, thing. Yes. Oh. What, the thing what you, the, we ate. Yeah. What's the, whatever it's called. I forgot. What like the things? roti. No, what we just ate. Uh, well. Oh, chapati. 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 Okay. Yeah, chapati. Mm. The chapati. one I saw him. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I I cook. Uh, it's like first time. I don't know, but like. When I, when I saw him doing what you do with the flower, when, and I was like, wow, I already knew, I knew what I was coming in, so I said, yeah, like wow, just, oh, he didn't have to, I was even shocked. So, did you go to a, the challenge is very good, I like it. Did you go to a catering school? No. Oh, just... But I, I used to, I had the restaurant in Brazil, and I am... Yes. Oh, okay. And I used to be the chef, but like, he, just for six months. But how can you be a chef and you've not studied chef? How can I be a coach? <laughs> Just make it up. Yes. Do you know, do you know that? Because you know in Kenya they say, oh, a qualified chef wants to see paperwork. Yeah. And that's the great thing about Australia. Do you know that I, do, the one thing, I invented myself as a coach. Do you know that I don't have any papers for that? Imagine, you see. Oh. And nobody cares. Mm. Because I deliver. Mm. 
That's the greatest I thing. I can't have that thing. You have to show qualification. Paperwork. In Kenya. Mm. And I know some, some areas, they want that, of course. Like, but, but uh, um, when you're good, it's like, oh, yeah. wh 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 oh, did Beyonce go to music school? No. Yeah. We even have one client, he's a financial wealth expert. He said, he's like, I went to university, I did all this. Do you know, no one has ever asked me, and he's in the finance space. He said, no one has ever asked me about my degree or yeah. my thing. Yeah. He worked Commonwealth Bank, yeah, he no, owns no. his firm. He said, he's like, I even think, should, why did I even go? It's, it, it, you know, I know this is what, um, uh, you know, if you tell people what you do and you deliver, yes. it's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Mm. Yeah. And what I, uh, what I just kept on doing is telling people, I'm a high performance life and business coach. Mm. I'm a high performance life and business coach. Mm. And I had to let go of the identity of lawyer because then that clouds things. Because then people, oh, lawyer, let's do it. No, I'm a high performance life and business coach. So did you I forgot. Slow? I did. Oh, did? I did. Oh. The, maybe for three years the first time and then the second time around for two years. Why did you stop? Because it wasn't giving me joy. I wasn't making a difference. So for me, I, I, when I, I started my own law firm, the second time around, I had my own law firm and my coaching business. Mm -hmm. So when in the law firm, commercial law, I like business. So that's why I did I commercial, commercial loved it. I, I, love, I, I love business. Mm -hmm. But then people would come and say, can I have a shareholder's agreement? I'm like, yes, but have you talked with your business partner if something goes wrong? Ah, oh, no, I don't have the confidence to do that. I said, but you're going to come back to me for a dispute. Oh, but we're best friends. We'll be able to sort it out. I said, well, if you can't even talk about it now, what's the, when it, uh, something really does happen, how will you talk about it then? Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll sort of six months later, the dispute, the cycle. So what I saw is many people passionate about doing something, but don't have the leadership skills, don't have the communication skills, don't have the conflict resolution skills, and not doing the preparation work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was more interested in that because mm -hmm. I was like, you, I can do a shareholders agreement, mm. but it's going to be one in 100 people who are going to be the real deal leaders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to work with the people who mm. wanted to be the real deal leaders, uh. the one in the 100. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's ecstatic. It's like, because it's like art. For me, it's art. I know some, I know some who are lawyers, like um, who do, um, they, actually, most of them, I don't know what law that, which, what kind of law is that, mm -hmm. where they just work with, for example, if you have problems at work, mm -hmm. um, you know, been, uh, like workplace been, safety, uh, workplace law. No, 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 like you've been, um, you've been, um, like if you're having a, what they call that, work, when you're, when you're, when you're in trouble at work and then they're trying to, the manager, HR wants to speak to you about it. Oh, like no, performance, like a performance. Performance, Yeah, yes, you're yes, being yes, performance yes. managed. Yeah, when you're being performance managed mm -hmm. or when you're, they oh, sort of that's like, interesting. they want you to, to uh, force resignation or mm -hmm. they want to fire you. Yes. I know some uh, Zimbabwean lawyers who that would be interesting. sort you out. Yeah, that's interesting work. Yeah, There's also sort you out. There's also a lot of Zimbabweans in like NDIS. Yeah. When I went to Afropreneur, which you're going to be a speaker at, yeah, a lot of them, eh, yeah, many Zimbabweans. Yeah. A lot yeah. of the Zimbabweans, they're doing well, huh? But I just wanted to let you know, if you need help doing a workshop, if you need help with your LinkedIn presence, with your social media, any questions, I am willing and able to come in and do a workshop with you, whether that's your personal branding, whether it's a company, whoever, I'm just out here wanting to give my advice because social media has changed my life. I know it can change your life. LinkedIn is powerful strategies. I'm a content creator. I'm a creative and it's led me to becoming a CEO, but I know how powerful the creator economy is and I know how to use those strategies in business. We're seeing it work with clients in the wealth space, in the co coaching space, in so many spaces, what we're doing is working. Have a look on my platform, have a look at our platforms in the company and see what we're doing. So if you want us, link in the description, get my email and let's put in a workshop and strategize how you can build on social media as a company and as a personal brand. Either one, I'm here for you. Peace. If you really enjoyed this video, make sure to click here 
and I'm sure you're going to love that one.